Welcome back, and we're going to talk to Mark Hamill here. <laughs> <laughs> While we talk about how we saw Mission Impossible yeah, at, at different times back. with different people. Mm -hmm. I saw it with Brock. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't dress Bruce Bolton. Because he's an asshole. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. I said where I it had to. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Oh, we're good, Dad. The crowd needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crowd in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Let's Although do it. What would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. And I don't care. House. My house is fucked anyways with the decisions I'm making, so it's cool. It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. So in this walkthrough, we're gonna get our house completely murdered. <laughs> Everyone's dead. So <laughs> Game of Thrones style. This is, this is how you do that, guys. <laughs> Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await oh, my arrival. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the norm. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yeah, I wish we'd see a viper in this game, but we probably won't. We probably don't see Dorn at all. Well, I'm sure that would make your... You'd be like, oh my god! Frame. This takes place yeah. again this season three and before season four. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be no Dorn. Mira, Hello. I was worried. We should talk to Shay, too. Oh, She's a handmaid. <laughs> Cersei has a way of looking at you, so you're nothing. It, uh... It's more than a little it, it went okay. It went, it went well. all right, I really? guess. Could have been really worse. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. You got Maybe a problem with Alec Baldwin, motherfucker? No, oh, he's just a fat fuck <laughs> now. <laughs> he is fat, that's why I can't... Like, it's weird seeing him in Beetlejuice when he was so young and yeah. skinny. And then you see him now, and you're like, fucking, holy crap. Fucking huge. And he's, he's usually playing assholes in movies nowadays. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing in The Departed. He was kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. What? It's true. It's true. And Girls gossiping. They mention him. Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. Yes, he is. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Hell. It'll be hell. Would you marry so this girl's... If it meant you'd be Nobody's <laughs> fucking... No king's <laughs> wife has been happy in the show. Would you marry Joffrey? And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I, I don't want to be queen. queen. Don't want to be queen, you northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Girl's out of her mind. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. It wouldn't last long as your head be on a fucking spike. So. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> What a perfect match. That'd be the weirdest couple ever. Serve, <laughs> run, and... What are you doing? Well? Uh, um, Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. 
we shouldn't have been messing about. This what is are not doing? a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I said I'm what just I had to. It's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Or to lock you up with religious fuckers. Do you agree? <laughs> Foreshadowing much? Um, it's hard to please. I mean, he, he's just pissed off because he couldn't capture Jack Sparrow, so then he just fucking gave up all his wealth. Very quickly. Now he's the leader of them bastards. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton You know, at least take me with you guys to see Pirates of the Caribbean. I do appreciate Bastards. your willingness to appease nice. her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. Although, I, this, I hope to God this is the last movie. It's I, not it's important. So bad. The last one was better than World's End. World's End just I, dragged I the fuck on. I did have a ask of you in return. And it, it didn't do a lot. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. I think Will Turner, no Turner's coming back, us. too, for a new one. That'll be cool it's to see him about again. about my family. It's about my fucking family. I trust her. Um. Oh, God. Whatever. She can fucking stay. I don't <laughs> care. Go on. Can you stop? Ask. My mother needs help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insists. I don't know what she can do for me, my anyways. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? K kill my me. mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. Oh, she yeah. Thought. If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown, I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. You can manipulate him to do anything dire. you want. You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I'll be in your debt. I will and I always pay my debts. <laughs> my family. Because in real life, I am a Lannister. Hello? I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. You're, you're adored by that Don't son of a bitch. You. you have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. <sighs> Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll Thank make you. Request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. All right, fuck yeah! The gears are turning. The gears, literally. <laughs> the gears are turning. The gears. Of so many things going on. King's Road. Are we? I can't see. It's dark. There I am. Now we're back to Garrod. Let's go to the wall. <laughs> So my horse is gone. Your horse got spooked. It looks like I'm unarmed. You heard, you heard screaming. Let's play a little game, shall we? Yeah. 
Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? That's a not terrible way to get tortured. Oh, go back. Go. Indeed. Now let me go! <laughs> You're terrible about those analog sticks. Bloody <laughs> noise. Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, again, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. Back. I see it now. To these foresters. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Yes. Yes. There. It was a, it was a deer. I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Ramsey Snow is only two days away. So he's the Brock of this game. <laughs> Fuck Brock Landis. Fuck House Landis. I know you were excited to see him too. Do, like, do not what we say or whatever is there is House Landis' words. Talk a lot and not back it up. All right, guys. Next time on Game of Thrones, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what Ramsey Snow's been up to. Yeah, fucking flaying people a lot. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.